six cylinder echo engine that is what we are going to discuss today in my video we are going to enjoy it too we are going to talk about air cool engine so majority of us are not familiar with air cool engine in this video we are going to understand how does it work and what is the difference between air cool and water cool engine and also my focus is on Doyle's engine six cylinder please before then try to subscribe to my channel so that me and you will hold the channel and anytime i release a video you always get it click the subscribe button not only that do well to give me thumbs up and go to the comment section tell me which video you like or your your say on my video let us go i'm going to tell you you're going to enjoy this video i will tell you good thing you're going to learn about doyle engine let's go let us start by introducing this air cool engine this is an engine that works without radiator it relies on circulation of air directly over heat dissipated fin or heat areas of the engine in order to cool them in order to keep the engine within operating temperature that is there is no liquid coolant it's only air that cools the engine now what are the advantages of this one there is no coolant leakage problems as a technician or a mechanic you know one of the things we are facing is leakage problems it can consume your time but here there is no leakage problems another one is that the engine is lighter than liquid cool engine because they have fewer parts let me give you an instant there is no radiator there is no water pump no thermostat these are parts that are present in water cool engine that make it more heavier here is more lighter and is more fitting into some equipment because it's more lighter than uh, water cool engine so that makes it an advantage they also warm up a lot faster than liquid cool engine when it comes to warm up air cool engine easily warm up you hardly see air cool engine with a heater plug because they can easily warm up since there is no uh, over freeze cannot affect them because there is no water in them unlike um, air cool engine that usually need um, or require heater or glue plug to heat up for starting now let's go into the component i'm going on your screen you are going to see about three component there is i'll mention to you in another video i'll pay attention to my radial flow type fan in this video i'm going to talk about asia flow type fan asia flow type fan is what you are seeing on the screen by the right answer you can see the the fan is asia flow fan how come it got the name from the way the fan blade operates because it's rotating around an axis so thereby it's pushing air out in a way that parallel to the axis that is it so that is where the name comes from in another video i'll talk about radial fan so that is one component and another component here that display on our screen is radial fan in radial fan is a different form of fan from this very one and because of that we will not talk much about it then we also have cylinder fin fins cylinder fin that means the cylinder of this very engine it has what we call a, a, a air passage around it it has fin it has air passage this air passage allow the air to cool it now we go to what you can see on the that is a group guide you can see the air guide this air guide direct the air to cool the necessary spare part the necessary component in engine that require cooling system that is your top cylinder and your your cylinder which is your, your sleeve and your oil cooler these are the area that require cooling cooling that is why you see your guide which you are looking at um, like a in yellow color you can see is protect it directed the air to this very important component so that 
because they are the most component that require cooling. So that is why it is necessary that in air cool engine, your air guide, air protector must properly fix and they must not leave so that the air will not waste, the air will not lost. If you don't protect them very well, the, the majority of the air will get lost and before you know it, it will, the engine will overheat. In air cool engine, your air guide is very very important you must make sure that the air guide is secure the air so that it can direct the air to the most affected area the more needed area which is your top cylinder and your sleeve and your your in this model of engine the door is 912 it has a hem you can see it has what we call um oil cooler this is where mostly air is needed these are the affected area that air is needed majorly now this is your the downside you can see your injector at the downside of it that is your injector and your injector this injector is either the, the type of this injector is inline nozzle injector it has about six mouth um, that supply it has about uh, uh, six injector pipe that supply each cylinder. Each cylinder has its own injector pipe. It is not a common ray system. No, this one, each cylinder has its own element that is responsible for each phase of the cylinder. Now we go to your injector. This is the injector gear. If you look at the injector gear, for some of us who are familiar with injector gear, if you notice as it, you see about three bolts and one knot. That knot is the knot that holds the injector shaft. Why you see about three bolts, the bolt that hold the gear teeth to the injector. If you look at the bolt very well, you see there's a slot be beside them. That's what we call injector advance and retard. That means this injector can be advanced or it can be retard. This is where injector, in injector time is, comes in. What in data time is? In data time is also referred to as speed timing. It is the moment when diesel fuel enter the cylinder during the combustion chamber, and when you are, you want to adjust this data timing, that is, you want to take it front or back. Either you want to advance or you want to retard. It means you want to adjust the timing. You can alter it. That means you are trying to alter when the engine is going to inject fuel, and thereby it will not change. When the combustion occurs, so in internal combustion engine, you know there are many or complex components, and these complex components require precise movement for them to deliver efficiency and reliability. So that's why there's need for timing in engine. But in when it comes to timing, we have about three common terms: TDC, BDC, and BTDC. I will not talk much about BDTC in this video. I'll talk much about it in my another video. But when 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 you're advising your timing, it means that you want the the injection to happen earlier before the manufacturer setting. You want the engine to inject earlier or the injection to take place earlier before the manufacturer setting. Why? When you are trying to retard, it means you want to make changes so that the fuel release after the, the recommended time or the manufacturer time. That is advancing and retarding. In this video, I'm still going to mention why do you need to advance your injector timing. On your screen now, you can see this is the sleeve. You can see it's, it's a thin sleeve. It has passages in between where the air can pass and cool the sleeve. You can see your hollow pipe. Inside this hollow pipe is what we, where you have your push rod. And this spring, this spring, you can see the spring downward the hollow pipe. This spring on the downside of the hollow pipe and the upper side that attach to your um, top cylinder, you have what you call seal. There's a seal there up and down. This seal must properly fix. If not, you have oil leakage. It's very important. And this spring, if when you are fixing this spring, there is a tool to fix the spring, or you can fix it manually if you know how to fix it manually. You have to tie the sleeve. The the Sometimes I use copper wire, light copper wire to fix the the spring. Then when I fix it, I cut off the copper wire so that the hollow pipe can sit properly. This is the top cylinder of the engine. You can see it, it has two valves 
the inlet and the exhaust valve. The, the bigger one is the inlet, while the smaller one is the exhaust. In between there, you see a nozzle tip. This engine, because this nozzle tip is visible, is playing directly into your combustion chamber. That means this engine is DI engine, direct injection engine. On your screen now, what do you have there? That is oil cooler. Oil cooler. In ecosystem, your oil cooler play a major role to cool the oil so that the hot oil will not get to the the component that must be cooled. If the oil is too hot and get to your crankshaft, your bearing, it will affect them. So this oil must be cool so that the oil will not be too hot by the time you have to get to lubricate the important component or the necessary component. So that is why in air cool engine, your oil cooler is very, very important. You can see the oil cooler here. It's like in form of radiator, but it's not a radiator, it's a cooler. It has a kind of thing too, that uh, the oil passes through it and the the fan or the Asia fan cool the oil so that it cool the cooler so that the oil, the oil can be cool before it gets to the necessary component that must be properly lubricated and cool. Now you can see the top cylinder. This is the top cylinder. This is how the top cylinder looks. This, that is the injector of 9, 12 series of Deutsch engine. This is the top cylinder again. Two valves, nozzles. This is the fin. That is the air cool. You can see the pipe. Uh, the hollow pipe that is how air cool engine works and you can see the exhaust and inlet in the same side so here now you can see the hollow pipe you can see the the spring this is all about uh, um, the, this is the engine block this is the timing gear from your left hand side and hand so you can see this is the what we discussed before the injector timing how you can be advanced and retired is this is the gear is properly well time for those 912 engine hope you have learned something about those 912 this is everything about the engine very simple very simple very simple so, yeah. yeah hope you enjoyed the video it's an interesting video you have learned about those engine six cylinder air cool engine so don't forget if you have not subscribe to the uh, to the channel and give it a give thumbs up and let me hear your view about the video. Go to the, the, to the comment section. Tell me what you see, your view about the video. See you, see you in my next video. Thank you.